someone's car alarm is broken again. Fix your alarms, guys. Closed, open. School doesn't start for like another hour and a half, so I'm hoping it's open. Open, cool. Workout done. It is 8.15, I have five minutes to eat this breakfast sandwich. Good morning. Summer school, good morning. I'm so glad to be in your video. All right, that's it, a uh, pretty easy day. Going home now, it's about 12.45. So you clicked on this video because you saw the title and the title is something like why I never get bored or how I never bored. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I know a lot of people, specifically my age, who right now it's summertime and most of them aren't in school or like summer school, like most of them are just home, not doing anything, don't have a job. And myself being someone who's like, was always doing stuff, whether it be on the weekend or during the week, like right now or when I go to like theme parks. It seems like I'm pretty much always doing something, which is the case, but it doesn't have to be like this. I choose to have something to do all day, every day. So first, what is boredom? Boredom to me is when I have absolutely zero things to do. Like zero things on my to-do list, zero goals, like zero, like nothing, like absolutely nothing. But I think the truth is, is that a lot of us, we all have something to do at one point or another. Like there's never a moment where we don't have a goal or something to look forward to. Especially if you're my age, you have goals of probably going to a specific college or doing something as like a career, like something specific, like something big, whether that be becoming a doctor or a professional athlete or something not so big, like a therapist. The point is, we should almost all have goals because without goals, that is what I think leads to boredom. And those people that have nothing, they're just boring people. Now, I'll use myself as an example here. I, when I get older, I want to make videos for a living. I don't want to work in some crappy nine to five job, you know, having some boss telling me what to do all the time. I want to be able to work for myself and take time off when I want to take time off and do work when I want to do work. And the only way I'm gonna get better and the only way I'm ever gonna achieve my dream of wanting to become like some sort of professional quote unquote filmmaker, YouTuber, the only way I'm ever gonna get better is by doing it. So like right now, even though I'm barely 15 and I only have 230 some subscribers, I'm not doing it for like the fame of being a YouTuber or anything. I'm doing it so I can gain experience. And this holds true, especially now. If you go back to all the way to my first videos, you can see the improvement that I've made in a year and a half of making 100 plus videos since then. All of these things have only moved forward because of me doing what I want to do, what I wish to do, which I'm turning into reality as a sense right now. This is what I want to be my future. And I think that's what most people, especially my age, should be focusing on if they know what they want to do with their life. Now, obviously, if you don't know what you want to do with your life yet, that's still normal. But don't just sit around and expect to find what you like to do by just doing nothing. You have to try things, experiment. Like, I wanted to be a roller coaster engineer, but then once I found videos, I'm like, screw that. I don't want to work at some manufacturer for 10 hours or whatever a day. I mean, does the job sound appealing and all? Yeah, it seems wonderful. And I would still like to do that. But at the same time, I want my freedom too. So to wrap up this whole scene here, I know it's easier said than done at all, but like, believe me, if you have something to do, if you at least try to find something to do, you will have something to do and you will not be bored. Well, I'm gonna share something that I do when I get like quote unquote bored and have like almost nothing to do. 
I I read right now. I'm reading this book called The Inner Game of Tennis. No, I do not play tennis. I run cross country and track. But what this book is essentially about, so I don't bore you to death here, it talks about the mental aspect of sports. And I think a lot of people know that cross country distance running, it's very mental. But understanding that mental side of the sport is what seems like a lot of people tend to shift away of, or they don't really talk about that. Like I know my coaches, they don't talk really how to train the mind. When racing or when doing workouts, they just like, here, run this, this is the proper form. Anyways, I hope you learned something new this part of the episode. It's like 5.08 now now and have piano at six so I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go to piano to play piano and then see what goes on from there. Oh, oh, oh.